Well, here is my 15 subwoofers that I'm using. Monster subwoofers. They are very small. <laughs> uh, I was going to show a video of unboxing every one of them, but after the first two, it's no longer exciting. Like my videos, just uh, monotone, boring. But anyhow, 15 of them. I actually ordered more um and i'll show you why in case one was broke i was able to have that extra one unfortunately i won't be able to do that this is number 16 as you know she's a little dirty a little dusty <laughs> but uh yep that's the way she came in shipping look at that beautiful huh yeah and anybody that knows uh, baskets and everything like that, once you tweak them, sometimes the cone will actually touch the magnet or the center pole, and it won't fire right. Fortunately, this one doesn't have any noise to it, so I can smash it back into place. It's not a big, big deal, but it is what it is. So, yeah, these subwoofers I'm pretty impressed with because of the price and they're decently heavy for what they are they're dual voice coil i couldn't go off any of the paperwork that came with it or the website everything was so shady about them um they couldn't make up their mind what the proper specs were on them because there's one online and then there's one in the paper book and then there's one at wherever you buy them from and You know, of course, it says a 30 ounce magnet and 600 watt max. Yeah, yeah, maybe for a, a second. Now, I have seen a guy use a crescendo amp and he was putting, I think, 1100 watts to two of them for about two minutes. And they were excurting like fully. And they lasted. And then he turned his amp up even more, his bass boost or something. And that's all she wrote. They both uh, decided to end their lives. So, I'm only going to be putting about 2,000 watts to all of these, so we'll find out. But, uh, I did weigh the whole big box that the stuff came in, and they are 30-ounce magnets. Oh, and back to the, the, the specifications. Um, online, you go to Pile Online, Pile Audio, or, or whatever it is, then they say these are a 20-ounce magnet, and 100 watts so like, look at that you can see even the, the surrounding is just nudged up on that one <sighs> but uh trying to find the right specs was near impossible and they said each one of these took 0 0.43 or 42 cubic feet um of airspace and they had that as sealed and ported which that's I've never heard of anything like that <laughs> um, usually it's uh, sealed and then you double it would be ported that's kind of the rule of thumb because um, you look at anything it's like a one cubic foot sealed box and the, the speaker will require two or or 1.5 you know for a ported depending on the you know the subwoofer and if they have any kind of like proper specs so I put these uh, I said in my other video um, shit I don't know it's gonna be three cubic foot for the sealed side I know that and the ported side is gonna have way too much they're pretty cool though huh rows and rows of little soldiers pile power Pile used to be a really, really good brand, too. Well, a lot of it was made in America, but as of all companies, they all, they all sell out at some point in time. Just like PPI, they were probably the number one amplifier you could get, and they were expensive. And now you can get uh, their Black Ice, which that's what I, the amp i got to be running. It says it's a 7,000 watt, but it's not. It's been dyno tested. It does 3850 at half ohm. And I got, I'm going to 
mark these down to probably a 1.2 ohm after I get them all wired together. So I'm probably going to get about 2,000, you know, who knows. But, yep, next video is going to be of the baffle. Fun, fun.